In this lesson, we will study about evidences from comparative anatomy and morphology. So, in it, first we will see about organ systems. Various systems of organs in various groups of animals are almost similar. For example, respiratory system, excretory system, nervous system, blood vascular system, etc. Next, we will study about homologous organs. These are the organs which are similar in their internal structure, but they are different in functions. So that means they have divergent evolution. Let's see some examples of homologous structures like the limbs of man, cheetah, whale and bat. So the limbs of man, they are used for grasping, limbs of cheetah for running, for whale for swimming and limbs of bat for flying. So that means they all, they have different functions but internally they all are similar. Next, one more example we can see that of brain structure. So brain structure in fishes, frogs, cats and humans are, is almost similar. Then next comes analogous organs. Analogous organs are the organs with different internal structure but their functions are similar. That is they perform similar functions. For example, wings of insect and birds. So, both insects and birds, they use their wings for flying, but the internal structure of them are different. The next example, we can see of pectoral fins. Of shark and flippers of dolphin. They both are again different in their internal structure. Next evidence from comparative anatomy and morphology is of vestigial organs. These are the organs which are present in reduced form and are non-functional in our body. But the comparative organs are present in some of the other animals. So, it is believed that these organs are functional or were functional in our ancestors. For example, some vestigial organs are present in human body. Like the nictitating membrane, I can write all the examples. Nictitating membrane. Then hair in human body, next nipples in males, then vermiform appendix, the 
muscles of pinna that is external muscles of pinna wisdom tooth so these are various vestigial organs which are present in our body now the vestigial organs present in other animals like wings in wingless birds wingless birds as in ostrich emu kiwi etc then next splint bones in feet of horses these are also vestigial organs then let's see some example of vestigial organs in plants so in plants the steminoids are present steminoids as in these are the vestigial stamens and these are present in the flowers of family labiate cucurbitaceae and cisalpinoidae then pistiloids are also present pistiloids are vestigial pistil so these are present in male flowers of cucurbitaceae family now the next is atavism atavism means the reoccurrence of various functions which were reduced or not functional in our ancestors so for example moving pinna in humans then occurrence of tail in some babies exceptionally long hair canine teeth etc now let's see some examples of atavism in plants in citrus plant the leaves of the citrus plants they are separated by its winged petiole by a narrow ridge so these are the wings of the citrus plants and this is a winged petiole and this is separated by this ridge so now sometimes what is seen is that these wings of the petiole they elongate and enlarge and form two leaflets like this and it gives a trifoliate structure to the leaves of the citrus so it has been said that during evolution these trifoliate leaves were evolved to be monofoliate leaves so in this lesson we studied about evidences from comparative anatomy and morphology we saw various evidences from organ systems homologous organs analogous organs then we saw vestigial organs and lastly we have discussed about atavism